a mango slaw that is absolutely delicious. All right, the dressing for the slaw. This is super easy. We have a little bit of honey, a couple tablespoons of honey, just best honey that you could find, local if you could find it, because then it's good for you too. About a half teaspoon of celery seed. Um, toasted cumin seed would also be nice in here. You could use your palate to be your judge. I have two limes that have been sitting out at room temp, which I always like to do with citrus because then you get more juice. I'm not a man of fancy tools. I stick them in between my tongs, give it a squeeze, and you get all the juice out. One less thing to clean. Usually with vinaigrettes, I go two parts uh, fat, one part acid. In this situation, you're gonna put in equal parts of olive oil. You're gonna give this a little whiskey whisk, a little bit of cracked black pepper, and salt is gonna go in there also. Dressing is done. Now, this may not seem like a lot of dressing for the amount of slaw that we're making, but the slaw, once we put it in the dressing, it's gonna start releasing its liquid and give us more dressing. So we don't wanna to put too much in. Now I'm gonna start cutting up stuff. Scallions couple, I had three scallions, small bunch of cilantro. I am a fan of things being a little bit spicy, so I am gonna use jalapeno. I'm gonna leave the seeds and ribs in. So when you see this, it's basically equal parts of all three, scallion, cilantro, and jalapeno. These are gonna go into our dressing, and they're just gonna start infusing some of that flavor as we get everything else cut up. I'm gonna peel and grate the carrots. All right, carrots are peeled. We get these grated. You could certainly slice these by hand, but I think this is the easiest way to do it. So now we have our carrots, our cilantro, our scallion, our jalapeno. I'm gonna peel my mango. Once this is peeled and sliced, it it's basically starts losing flavor. So now mangoes have that big pit. So I just kind of go down the side. There we go. We are going to just cut this into slices, try to get them as uniform as we can, and this will go into our slaw. The other thing, too, as we put these into our slaw, they start to release some of their juices, which is gonna give our slaw dressing more flavor. If you buy them pre-cut, the chances of them being quite as juicy starts to dwindle a little bit. All right, so last thing I gotta do is I'm just gonna start slicing up this cabbage and I'm just gonna put the cabbage in there with it and then I'm just gonna it's mix this up together. colors. This is incredible. And the slaw? What do you I like about eat, it? I could just eat a big bowl of it. I like this, the sweetness of the mango in it and sort of the earthiness of the cabbage. 